Radio, we are making a rabbit cacciatore, which as I understand is a traditional Italian dish for hunters. You will need onions, garlic, basil, tomatoes, some rabbit legs that have been seasoned and dusted in flour, crushed tin tomatoes, white wine, oregano, salt, pepper, tomato paste, pasta and olives. Don't stress about the amounts, just use however much you feel like. I tend to feel my way through things being half a wog myself. So, sweat the onions out, add the garlic, cook them on a really low heat. While that's going, brown your rabbit legs in a pan that's got some butter and some olive oil in there. Do not overcrowd the pan. Make sure there's plenty of space. Do not stuff around with them and move them around. Just put them in there and leave them develop a proper colour. You see that? Nice and golden. Good flavour and good texture. So while you're breading them off in batches, put them in your pan, add the other legs to get some colour on them as well. At this stage you might like to add the chopped tomatoes and the um, cherry tomatoes that you've cut up. Make sure once you've done browning that meat, you deglaze that pan with the white wine. It cooks the alcohol off, it gets all the flavour off the bottom of the pan. Use a wine that's not too sweet. So here we are just adding the rest of the crushed tomatoes and the tomato paste. Again, you use however much you like. The same with that and the seasonings which you'll see me put in here in a little bit. Um, with a dish like this, you can always adjust it again at the end if you need to. Make sure you top it off with a bit of water if you have to, because if it's not covered in liquid, it will not cook properly. And I just put this in the oven at about 120 or 140 until the rabbit seems to be cooked. Now, if you do it like that, without leaving it on the top of the stovetop and the lid off, then the liquid will not reduce. So you see a used tray here off to the side. What I did was I took the rabbit legs out when they were cooked, sat them in that tray, reduced the liquid right down, and then put the rabbit legs back in. Important note with the olives and the basil, heat will make those olives bitter and kill the flavor of that basil. So put them in right at the end, they'll remain nice and fragrant and mellow. So you can see it's a pretty simple dish. Apparently it's a dish that hunters used to cook in Italy when they were hunting rabbits or different kinds of birds. Serve it on top of a nice big pile of pasta, make sure there's plenty of sauce, and hook in. I certainly did. Give it a go, let me know how it turns out. Have a good one.